Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a shockwave effect in DaVinci Resolve 17.1. Inside your project's edit timeline, hold Ctrl and press I to insert a video clip of your choice. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your media pool, find the thumbnail of the media clip that you have inserted into your project. Hover your mouse cursor over the icon which appears in the bottom right corner Select to open up the clip attributes. According to the second property in this list here, this video comprises of a frame rate of 30. The shockwave effect that we will create in this video will have a duration of one and a half seconds. Knowing that this particular video comprises of 30 stills per second, this information will help us determine where to apply effects and changes on our media clip once we put this onto our timeline. Select the thumbnail of your chosen video. Click and drag to the start of your edits timeline. Using the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, click and drag the red playhead to the point on your video clip where you wish for the shockwave effect to start. In this particular example, my shockwave effect will commence at the five second mark. To make slight adjustments to the playhead, you can also use your keyboard by holding in K and tapping L to move the red playhead forward by one frame, or hold in K and tap J to move the red playhead back by a single frame. Right click on the video on your timeline and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion window, the red pointer on the Fusion timeline should already be in the same place where we place the red playhead on the edit timeline. The timeline here in this particular window will be in frames, and as we can see, with a video of a frame rate of 30, we are at the 5 second mark at frame 150. We will first create the minor glow effect in the shockwave. With media in 1 selected, hold shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of the select tool window to find the soft glow tool. Select this and go to click on add. We don't wish for the glow effect to be visible right at the start of the shockwave effect as we want this to gradually develop on screen over a short amount of time. The development and the fading of the glow effect should last for a third of a second of screen time. In this particular video, which comprises of a frame rate of 30, this glow effect will last for 10 frames. With Soft Glow 1 selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, find Gain. In order to remove the glow effect from the start of the shockwave effect, First select the keyframe diamond icon which appears to the right of gain, so that this turns red. And reduce the gain value from 2 to 0. Now advance forward on your timeline by a sixth of a second. In this particular case here, I will move forward by 5 frames to 155. Return to inspector, and now set gain to 0.2. Now advance forward to the end of your 10 frame sequence to set the glow effect to fade. In this case here, I will advance to frame 160 and set the gain value to zero. Note how the keyframe diamond icon is automatically highlighted in red. Now to add the temporary blur effect to your shockwave sequence. This blur effect should be visible on screen for twice as long as that as the glow effect at a duration of two thirds of a second. For this particular video file, it will be a sequence comprising of 20 frames. Now return to the first frame of your shockwave sequence. In this case here for this particular project, it will be frame 150, where the beginning of the glow effect was applied. Ensure that the soft glow one tool is selected. Hold shift and press space and go to select the Directional Blur tool, which comprises of an icon with a smaller drop shape inside a rectangle, not the tool with the three bigger drop shapes. Select this tool without the brackets at the end, and go to click on Add. This should automatically be connected between Soft Glow 1 and Media Out 1. With this new tool selected, go to Inspector, and underneath Controls, like with the glow effect, we wish for the blur to gradually appear and then fade away as the video plays. 
To remove the blur at the start of the shockwave effect, select the keyframe for blur strength, then set the value for this particular variable to 0.0. .0. Now advance forward on your fusion timeline by twice as many frames as you did when applying the glow effect. In this case here, rather than returning to frame 155, I'm going to jump forward to frame 160. Underneath Inspector again, change Blur Strength to 0.4. And to have the blur effect now reduce as the video plays on, we will jump forward by a further 10 frames to mark the end of the blur effect which should last for two thirds of a second. In this case here to frame 170. And change Blur Strength to 0.0. .0. Ensure that Blur Type is realistic. Symmetric blur is ticked and border type is reflect. Keep the blur angle set at minus 45 so that the blurriness is applied diagonally. Now to add the circular ripple effect to your shockwave. Return to the frame number where your shockwave sequence starts. In this case here it will be 150 where the soft glow and directional blur effects commence. Return to your edit window. On your edit timeline Hold in ALT and select your video clip that you wish to apply shockwave effect to. Use option instead of ALT if you are a Mac user. Click and hold and drag your mouse cursor directly above your original video clip to make a duplicate. Ensure that this and the original video both start and end at the same time. Right click on the duplicate video clip on the upper video track and select open infusion page. Select media in one. Hold in shift and press space and go to select the ellipse tool. This should be connected by the blue effect mask arrow to media in one. With this ellipse one node selected, go to inspector and underneath controls to create a ring shape, we first need to add border width. Set the value of this variable to 0.1. You should now see part of your video clip appear around the green ellipse marker. To remove the more centralized content and to create your ring shape, deselect solid. To have the edges of your shockwave circle blend in with the rest of your video clip more, increment soft edge slightly to 0.02. Again, like with the soft glow and directional blur effects, we want this particular shape to be invisible at the very beginning of your shockwave sequence. In order to do this, we will reduce the width and height to 0.0, .0 each. Ensure that the keyframe diamond icon for both of these variables is selected. In order to have the shockwave ripple across the screen, the size of the ellipse shape needs to grow as the video sequence plays. This will happen across one and a half seconds of screen time, as mentioned early on in the tutorial. In order to have the ellipse shape expand beyond the frames of the video clip, we first need to advance forward to the final frame of this sequence. In this case here, one and a half seconds of screen time will mean that we advance forward to frame 195. Now set width and height to two. If you ever wish for the ellipse shape to emit from a different part of your video, Simply change the center X and Y coordinates underneath controls in Inspector. Increment center X to go right. Decrement to go left. Increment center Y to move up. Decrement to move the ellipse shape down. In this example project, I will keep both center X and Y at 0.5 so that the ellipse shape is centralized on my video clip. At present, our ellipse shape has no ripple effect. In order to add these, return to your edit timeline, go to effects library, underneath toolbox, select open effects, and go to find waviness. Click and drag this filter to the upper video duplicate on your edit timeline, which comprises of the ellipse shape. With this duplicate video selected, go to inspector, select effects, to find the waviness properties. Change waviness type from vertical to horizontal. 
To increase the number of waves which appear inside your expanding ellipse shape, increase scale from 30 to 100. To reduce the height of the wave slightly, decrease strength from 15 to 7. Phase can be kept at 0, animate is ticked. To enhance the rippling effect in your wave animation, increase the velocity of your wave animation by changing speed from 0.2 to 0.6. Use alpha can be left as ticked. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video is useful to you. If you found the content helpful and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.